Tom, tell the story about Kimbo Slice. <laughs> Kimbo Slice when on you, Ultimate Fighter? Yeah, when you guys were doing that. <laughs> they didn't even show this on the air. So this guy, I'm not going to mention his name, on the show he lost, and you can drink all the alcohol you want in the house. And there's only, at the time, there's only four of us left still fighting. Roy, Marcus Jones, Mitrione, myself. That's the four fighting, right? So, so one of you guys, one of the other guys is hammered. Hammered, wasted. All of a sudden, this guy gets super racist in the house. And there's a bunch of black guys in the house. Starts throwing up racial slurs and throwing up these, you know, the hit, Hey Hitler stuff, Heil Hitler stuff. Write his name on this piece of paper for me. All right. So he starts doing all this stuff. I'm sleeping. I have the biggest fight of my life the next day. And I thought it was a dream. Kimbo Slice and uh, Marcus Jones and this and this D'Amico, and this D'Amico Rogers uh, comes in my room. And they go, yo, shop, get up, dog. Get up, man. I'm like, huh? Why are there three large black guys around my bed? Kim goes, yo, man, this dude's down there talking about our people. We're about to jack him up. I Literally, I thought I was in a dream. I go, excuse me? He's talking about our people, dog. Let's go F this dude up. I'm like, <clears throat> listen, uh, you guys realize? I said, I'm not down with the race thing, but you realize I'm not black, right? Kim goes, you ain't black? <laughs> I go, no, man. He goes, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Turn around, leave, and I hear, that's why lock shop. You can't tell what the hell he is. <laughs> keep going. And then I, then I, <laughs> and then, and I tell, I go, hey, Kimbo, that's racist, dog. He goes, why? I go, just because I'm athletic and can fight, I got to be black. He goes, you could be, and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow, that's interesting, man. Yeah. What?